This is promising play from Di Giuseppe. Second break point. Really, we've had a uh, fair old abundance of break points so far in this match. a good ability to turn defence into attack with the power of that shot. Oh, can she take her third break point of this game? answer courtesy of that wayward delivery from Hibino is yes and the advantage for the world number 84 lasts a matter of minutes <laughs> Tidy volley. She's certainly very happy to draw Hibino in with a shorter ball and then to follow it up. Useful return. No doubt that the forehand is the big weapon. The serve isn't too bad either. Getting over three quarters of those first serves in. First time a re
Well, Hibina, it seems uh, feeling that she ought to be going back to first serve due to the mix up with the balls there. And that will only exacerbate that feeling. Evidently there was a, a rogue ball there somewhere. That's an excellent direction from Di Giuseppe. Struggling at the moment to combat her forehand. That's another fine hit from Martina Di Giuseppe and the world number 218 is very well positioned. She leads by four games to two. Hibina did well because she was barely on the court. Just increasingly pressed back, but defending stoically to force the error. Just a reminder of what I said at the start of the match. It is just her second ever appearance in a tour level main draw. Clever play from Hibino made life very difficult for Di Giuseppe when she was encroaching and when the Japanese player was looking increasingly pushed backwards. But she's engineered a couple of break points.
We've only had two games in the match that haven't had break points so far. And one of those went to Deuce. It was her first service game. Oh, very well played now, Hibino. There was a shot there that clipped the net that required lightning quick reflexes. The adjustment in her footwork was most impressive and she gets the reward. We are still enjoying a very close and unclear battle between these two players on grandstand court here in Palmer. Hibino brings us back on serve. She trails 4-3. Well, if you're just joining the act in this first round match at the Emilia Romagna Open, a tight battle, an interesting one. Four breaks of serve already. And despite their rankings, two very well matched players, though there is a 134 place gap. has won seven ITF titles, Di Giuseppe, all of them as you'd expect on clay. And has made a further seven finals. <laughs> Biggest final was the Prague Open in July of 2018. maintained a very compelling first serve percentage so far Hibina Surprising that uh, Hibino has an irritated reaction with herself after that shot. She was given a second chance by uh, Giuseppe not quite being able to put away the volley on the stretch. It's all immaterial though because uh, a high quality first serve gets her to four apiece.
That's a great play. Had to go down low to meet that ball and met it really well. For the winner of the contest, a meeting with Wong Chang, number six seed. a tidy hold of serve emphatic from Martina Di Giuseppe just when it looks as though maybe there was a change in the momentum of the contest an important hold because now now Hibino will be serving to Serving to maintain her presence in this first set is now Hibino. bit of misdirection from Hibino.
for the first time in the contest, a love hold of serve. Both players really steadying themselves well when the pressure was on with ball in hand. Oh, that's a well-controlled volley because a little bit more pace on that and Tivino would have been there. Really, Giuseppe was a player in such need of victories coming into this tournament. Just the one win against Mariam Borkovadze. But she's not playing in this particular tournament like a player. For the second time, now Hibino serves to stay in the set. She's judged it really rather perfectly. That's a wonderful shot. Well, 
Well, this is just half a chance for Di Giuseppe. It might be the kind of match where half a chance is as good as it gets. <laughs> half chance, no more. Just a little drop in now Hibino's play affords Martina Di Giuseppe the set point. A very narrow first set, and it's gone the way of Martina Di Giuseppe. Took her chance when she had it, and wins it. Well, a bit of a delay as we wait for the start of play in this second set. Temperature has gone up to 23 degrees now. It's a fair bit warmer. Very clear skies. Competition taking place at the Tennis Club Palmer. Created back in 1966. And the competition taking its name from the Emilia Romagna region, one of the uh, 20 regions of Italy. Capital of the region is Bologna. And it does take its name from uh, two uh, very historic regions of the country. Oh, isn't that a nice touch from uh, Di Giuseppe? Yes, Amelia was uh, the 
northern part of Italy. Now combined with the uh, Romagna region, which used to uh, be demarcated by the uh, Apennines Mountains. Well, having concluded the first set so impressively, dear Giuseppe must uh, not risk now giving away that momentum, especially not without a fight. Could well be. What's about to happen? It was all too attackable, that second serve. Nebino was on the offensive from the moment that she struck the ball. And how often we see it in tennis, the immediate break of serve at the start of the second set from the player who has just narrowly lost the first. look back at the numbers of the first set taking the best part of an hour to play did Giuseppe really impressive with her forehand certainly where the lion's share of her best work came was on that side but also throwing in the shorter ball quite a bit That's just wonderful. What super quality from Hibina. This is a great response from the Japanese player. Consolidates the break of serve. And she leads by two games to love.
just about crushes the line. Hevino's improved form on the clay has not been a total surprise considering her semi-final appearance in Strasbourg last year. But it is an interesting change from a player whose two WTA titles have both been on a hard surface. Tash Kent in October of 2015 when she beat Donna Vekic and the Japan Women's Open in September 2019. Victory there against uh, Misaki Doi. Yes, the pressure is increasing on Di Giuseppe. Uh, it been, I think, has uh, said all that needs to be said about that one. Not her finest shot, but there have been some very fine ones. is knocking at the door. Double break here and we've got ourselves a totally different match. It's another very deceptive angle generated by the world number 84. Here is that chance for the double break of serve. Not sure that that was ever really on. Excellent serving from Di Giuseppe. And it keeps her in contention in this second set. It was a good chance for Hibino to go three love up. Nonetheless, she still has the single break of serve advantage.
That's an excellent take from the Italian. the advantage of now Hibino is under threat it was a very nervous looking serve from Hibino a love break and Di Giuseppe now really is reaping the benefits of avoiding that double break just a couple of games ago. for the third time. Oh. One of those moments there where you could almost see the indecision in the player as the ball clipped the net and they had to uh, rethink. Is she going to be able to pick up her first ever win against a top 100 player that didn't come as a result of a retirement? That was a somewhat awkward looking ball toss. Frustrations continue to grow for now Hibino as Martina Di Giuseppe has won three in a row. Just a sense that Di Giuseppe has on the other side of the net a player who's a little vulnerable at this stage of the contest. Well, that one did really curve away. But 
if there ever was an opportune time for the break of serve. This is right now. Not that there's uh, ever an inopportune time for one, but you know what I mean. Didn't she get uh, a lovely touch on that? What robust defensive play from Di Giuseppe. Full reward for the running. Ah, oh, that's eventually won after, again, real tenacity from the Italian. Hibino had to produce some real quality with the backhand and didn't she just... But she is being made to work fiercely hard. Second ace in a very impressive service game from now Hibino. It would have been very easy to see the wheels coming off at this point. They did not. Good lateral movement. Perhaps a hint that there was space to exploit. And it was not exploited. Well, for now, Hibino, there is a palpable opportunity to take back that advantage that she lost at the start of the second. But Di Giuseppe has played with a great deal of calmness when a big moment has come along in the match.
Well, that's a very good hit once more from the Italian. That's a compelling swing on the forehand side. Ibino gets the hold and without any real incident. We are at the crux of the second. was a very tidy point from Hibino. Wonderful return. Yet again, Hibino finds herself with a hint of a chance, just as happened a couple of games ago. And Giuseppe responded well. Oh, just gets it right. Fairly similar situation as dear Giuseppe finds the big serves when she needs to. That was far too tentative a second serve, wasn't it? Hibino all over it. Took it well too. to touch awkwardly for Hibino. In the end, it's all on now, Hibino now. 
she trails and must hold serve. Bino has only won 43% of her points on second serve. It's a percentage that increases a fraction due to that. That was a very controlled and impressive backhand. Great volley, secure at the net, made the right judgment. She's almost there, just two more points required. And here is the chance for the world number 218. Well, that was a decisive work from Hibino. Most crucially, it was successful. Match point saved. Hivino hold serve. Big reaction. The contest goes on. Now, how does Martina Di Giuseppe respond to the disappointment of that? becoming an increasingly tense and 
and a nervous looking match. will help to alleviate some of those nerves that the Giuseppe might be feeling. One that perhaps she would do anything to have a second swing at. <laughs> Just misses. She's going to have it looked at by Federica Simonini. on the line Oh, the break point exists for a millisecond. Not for the first time. Ace followed by double fault. She has it. Now Hibino with the break of serve having successfully fought off a match point just a game ago. Now she will serve to take this into a decider. The Japanese player leads 6-5. As now Hibino managed to find the crucial breakthrough. 
This could be quite tough to take for Di Giuseppe. Nonetheless, there is still still a chance for the Italian if she can keep producing these kind of shots and not find herself rattled. Oh, indeed she can. frustration for now Hibino because she got herself into a position to send the contest into a decider but it was never a compelling looking advantage it turned out so to a second set tie break She was pretty clear, teachers happy that that was worth the challenge. <laughs> Tricky on this for Federica Simonini. And it's been judged to be in. seemed uh, very sure of it and she was right to be Di Giuseppe that one right in the corner the most necessary point for now he'd been up real danger of this tie break 
slipping away. A lovely touch. Giuseppe was expecting a little bit more power on the ball from Hibino. She has managed to rescue what was looking like a tie break far slipping away from her. Now it is the turn of Martina Di Giuseppe to steady herself. was steady as you like. Drilled this. Cheerio. Even in the tie break, they are inseparable. There's been so little between these two throughout. Great placement again from the Italian. Once more, she finds herself a couple of points away from the victory. just have thrown her right when she needed a stroke of good fortune oh. it was very wayward from Havino for the second time, it is a match point for the Italian. This is just the second time that Martina Di Giuseppe has made it to the main draw of a WTA competition. She doesn't come to the party often, but when she does, she tends to stay for a long time and make a lot of noise. The semi-finalist 
in Bucharest a couple of years ago has got the victory. Very close contest. And Hibino did have opportunities. But Di Giuseppe was the player, quite simply, who handled the big points better. At